I love that. Gee, I wish I were a man. I joined the Navy. That was an old recruiting poster, and so I've always kind of kept that. And whenever I have space, I put it up. It's to reflect on how far we've come. Commander Billy Farrell is the 77th commanding officer of the USS Constitution, the first female to hold that position in the ship's 225 year history. Constitution arriving. As the commanding officer, kind of the short answer is I'm responsible for everything. The sailors and Marines that gave their lives on the decks of this ship is just an unbelievable piece of our history. And so to be the steward of that is just very humbling and an honor to be here. Built in 1797, the USS Constitution is the world's oldest commissioned warship afloat. While in service, it played key roles in many battles, including the War of 1812. Today, it promotes that history to 600,000 visitors a year. So we're in the captain's bedroom. Correct. You don't sleep here, do you? I do not. I do plan to sleep here at some point, but really just to, to experience that and, and fully immerse myself in, the, in being the captain here. Commander Farrell's naval career started 18 years ago, but the Kentucky native knew she was destined to be a sailor from the time she was in the sixth grade and watched a Naval Academy graduation on TV. Just seeing a group of people wearing their uniforms, standing proudly, ready to serve their country, just was something that spoke to me right off the bat. Later in high school, a family road trip up the East Coast took a fateful turn, offering a sneak peek into Farrell's future came to Boston for that vacation, walked the Freedom Trail. My dad happened to take a photo of me standing next to the ship. And ironically, 1998 is the same year a woman took command of a ship in the Navy for the first time. After graduating from the Naval Academy, Farrell made her own mark, working as a surface warfare officer. In simple terms, that means my job has been to fight and drive ships and lead sailors for my entire career. Then in January of 2022, she took the helm of Old Ironsides. It really was an honor to be selected to come here to one of the original six frigates of our Navy that we have today. More than one third of the ship's current crew members are women, higher than the Navy's average. 1986 is when the first woman joined the crew here. I'm glad to continue that legacy. A legacy she hopes will inspire more women and girls to follow in her footsteps. So often in our history, the things that were here that long ago have, have long gone. The Constitution is still here and she represents the fighting spirit, dedication and perseverance of our citizens and of our sailors. It's unusual to see this much work devoted to building something you plan to destroy. They'll tear it down in 20 minutes and throw it in the garbage. That's because it's a set for the Liam Neeson movie Thug. And as soon as filming is finished, it's on to the next project for Marina Cappy. When I started, there was a lack of 2 million square feet with the amount of content that was needed to film between Amazon and Netflix and Apple. So it seemed like a really good business plan. Cappy is the CEO of Marina Studios. She believes it's the first female-owned and operated movie production studio in the country. It's sort of always been a male-dominated industry, and you see the change, not only here, but in L.A. So it's been cool to be able to be the leader and make an impact. This studio in Canton is her second. The first is in Quincy at the former Marina Bay Sports Complex. You need to be close to the city and to the airport for easy access and the infrastructure of hotels and businesses and restaurants. Live, work, play, we call it, you know, with residents there so that teams can come in and just stay for three, six months, however long it takes to do a, a film. The need for strategically situated sound stages increased dramatically in 2021 after Massachusetts made its film tax credit permanent. We have a very, very strong tax credit. So all these movies were coming in, there was just warehouses. So far, her studios have hosted productions of the Whitney Houston biopic, I Want to Dance with Somebody. I and The Collaboration, a film about the relationship between legendary artists Andy Warhol and Jean-Michel Basquiat. It's great because we've been able to involve a lot of other women in the industry who maybe have moved to LA and now can come back because of the growth of the industry here. 
And Cappy isn't finished yet. She's already working on a third soundstage in Watertown and says she's considering expanding even further. Since she opened, at least two more female owned and operated studios have opened in the US, one in Hudson, New York, and one in Oklahoma City. And back to Commander Farrell. She says the Navy has more than 30 women in command of ships today, a welcome sign of progress.